Good morning, everybody. It is the third day of the October duck season here in Virginia. And this morning, we are doing something that I have never done before in the early season. That's a little river jump shoot for ducks. Uh, when we floated a couple stretches of river during September for geese, we seen quite a few wood ducks, a handful of teal as well. So uh, getting to kind of that point in the four day season where a lot of the public spots are um, already seeing, or have already seen quite a bit of pressure. So we figured this would be a fun option, pretty laid back style of hunting. Just Drew and I today floating down in the kayaks. I think, you know, obviously never done this before. There's probably gonna be a little bit of a learning curve, but our thinking is, one of us tanks one bank, one of us takes the other. Um, they typically hang out kind of behind deadfalls and stuff. And when we were doing the goose floats, we had quite a few jump up pretty close. So should be some fast paced, uh, fun jump shooting action if they are along here and uh, brought the fishing rods along as well. So hopefully catch a few, few fish along the way. But uh, yeah, it's early right now, probably 15, 20 minutes after shooting light. So just light enough to where we should be able to see birds pretty well and we're gonna get after it. Cool little feeder creek right there. That's where the woodies will hang out a lot of times is in those little cuts like that. Good little hiding spots for them. And also I think there's typically more food right in those little creeks than there is along the main river here. little one but first fish of the day he crushed it too Ooh, quick release Of course, I got a hen. Two and a hen. <laughs> I couldn't really pick them out. They were just silhouetted for me. Well, on the board, little hen Woody had three come over perfect. Well, a little, little tall, but close enough. So got this new magnet shell picker thing from Motion Ducks. Makes it a little easier to pick up your empties along the river. Oh gosh, missed him again. Oh, another decent fish. Just too slow on the hook set. About another eight or so just got up. They're busting pretty far out, but at least we're seeing birds. It's been real slow so far, probably about halfway through the float. And Probably just seen more birds in that last minute than we've seen the first half of the float. Bunch of birds. More getting up. They don't seen Drew pick up his gun there. dip down hard. I 
I don't know what that was all about. Either they got shot at or they're like really getting ready to migrate or migrating. That was weird. I haven't seen Woody's do that ever on the river. I'm pretty sure they just went right back up there where we jumped them all. There'd be some right here. We got a good looking spot. Oh wow, yeah, he's a young one. Yeah. Pretty thick though. Yeah, he's not not terribly sized. <laughs> I don't even know what to compare that to. Like, I've never seen one that looks like that. Thomas. These are the biggest wild grapes I've ever seen. Look up in the trees as soon as you come around. I don't, oh yeah, wow. Holy smokes. That's what these birds are probably eating. Oh yeah. If these things are falling into the water. Took forever. GoPro died halfway through the ordeal. But I got a handful worth of grapes. Hopefully these are edible. I don't see why it wouldn't be. I've never ate Virginia wild grapes, but tastes pretty good. Yeah, I wouldn't have thought there would have been one right behind there, but. That surprised me. I really didn't expect any ducks to jump out from up there for some reason. And I shot twice, I missed, and then they went down and flew back up. Well, we have wrapped up our day on the water. Things finished out a little bit chaotic. Unfortunately, I think camera batteries were running a little low on juice, so I don't know how much is on film, but got down to the last couple miles of river and there was quite a few woodies stacked up there. There's a couple different cuts in the river where the woodies can hide pretty well. Sent a few down to Drew. Unfortunately, he was having some issues with his gun, so he was not able to bag any. I did get my third wood duck on the day, so first wood duck limit of the season. That feels pretty good. And uh, the third bird I shot, was headed for some trees after I shot it and ran up in the, uh, I, ran, I chased after it, ran up in the trees and unfortunately snapped my fishing rod in two. So river always takes something and that was, uh, that was its item for the day. 
but had a blast today. It was a beautiful stretch of river. Um, unfortunately, those woodies were pretty wary today. I was not expecting that when we floated it in September. You know, we probably could have shot our wood duck limits in the first couple miles of the river, but it took all the way till the end today to get it done. Hope everybody enjoyed today's video. If you guys enjoy these waterfowl hunting videos and you aren't already subscribed to the channel, I'd really appreciate if you click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of these future videos. And if you have any questions about today's hunt, leave it in the comment section down below and I'll be sure to get back to you. Hope everybody out there is staying safe. God bless and thanks for watching. Bye.